In our previous two lessons on the six major physical regions of Asia, we looked at four of them. In this lesson, we'll be taking a look at the rest two physical regions of Asia. We'll be first taking a look at West Asia. So the West Asian countries are a group of 19 countries and these 19 countries include Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Iran, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, Oman, United Arab Emirates, Yemen, Arabia, Jordan, Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, Cyprus, Turkey, Syria and Iraq. That is a large group of countries. The West Asian countries are also unique in themselves because they offer us with some of the most religiously rich, traditional and are unique in their own selves. Let's see how. Let's talk about Kuwait. Have you heard about the Kuwait Towers? Well, the Kuwait Towers are a distinct feature that you'll see in Kuwait. And why are they so unique? Well, they are unique because of their architectural design. They're designed like the traditional Arab perfume containers. And you know, why were they made? They were made to contain water. These circular rounds here in the tower are actually water reservoirs. They are a group of three towers out of which Two are water reservoirs while the other one acts as a lighthouse. The tallest among these three contains a huge water reservoir and also a restaurant for 90 guests. It also contains a rotating observatory while the other tower is only used for reserving the water. Now these are unique in their cells and act as distinct feature for the entire country. Another one here is Israel. So Israel, you can see, is located at the coast of Mediterranean Sea. And what is so interesting about this country? Well, here we have the holy city of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is considered one of the most sacred places. A visit to Jerusalem is a visit to the sacred place of Jesus Christ. Now, besides Jerusalem, another interesting location in Israel is Haifa. Haifa is the third largest city of Israel. It is located on the slopes of Mount Carmel facing the Mediterranean Sea. It is also unique in itself because it offers a baffle of religious locations you will be surprised to see. Right to the east of Israel, we have Jordan. The Jordanian city of Petra is one of the favorite archaeological sites for historians since the earlier times because researchers from across the globe come to admire this beautiful city which is often considered as the Red Rose City. It is considered so because of the color of the stone from which it has been carved out. This Petra city is unique and has a historical importance. Next we have the United Arab Emirates. The United Arab Emirates, as you can see, right between the Persian Gulf and the Arabian Sea. Now an interesting feature here is the very famous Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa in Dubai, that is a city in United Arab Emirates, is considered the tallest building in the world with a height of 828 meters. It is believed that the building has more than 160 stories and it is one of the most beautiful attractions of the country. Now with such unique pilgrimage sites and beautiful attractions, the West Asian countries are a desert region. The countries have a desert environment which means that it is covered with semi-arid and arid grounds. So you can see that most of the country is covered with deserts, semi-arid regions and also the Mediterranean coasts. Now the largest desert in Asia, a hot desert, is located in the West Asian region. Here we are talking about the Arabian Desert. So the Arabian Desert is located in the West Asian region and it comprises of nine countries. That means that this particular desert or the largest desert of Asia covers regions of nine countries from the West Asian region. So the Arabian Desert 
which is the largest desert in Asia, spans across West Asia and comprises nine countries. So let's see, Arabian desert comprises which nine countries? So the largest desert of Asia, that is the Arabian desert, that spans across West Asia, comprises or includes portions of Iraq, Iran, Kuwait, Qatar, UAE or United Arab Emirates, Oman, Yemen, Saudi Arabia and Jordan. So we see that the Arabian desert covers most portion of Saudi Arabia and other portions of the surrounding countries. So here we understood that the largest desert of Asia is located in the West Asian region and comprises nine countries. Here is the picture of the Arabian desert which is a hot desert. We just saw the largest desert of Asia, that was the Arabian desert. Now this Arabian desert though has a limited vegetation cover, however it has a beautiful and unique fauna. Let us take a look at some of the unique fauna that we find in the Arabian desert. Let's first talk about the baboons. The baboons can be found in large groups in the southern tip of the Arabian Peninsula and they are some of the fun and energetic animals that you'll find in the Arabian desert. Now the Arabian desert is also home to a number of species of reptiles out of which we also have the Arabian sand boa. Now Arabian sand boa is a harmless and non-venomous reptile. It is small in size and can grow to a maximum length of 16 inches. Next we have the Arabian oryx. Now the Arabian oryx are not only beautiful but are also the largest mammal found in the Arabian desert. As you can see the distinct white color of these antelopes acts as a protection against sun's harmful rays and helps them survive in the extreme temperatures of the Arabian desert. Finally, we have the Arabian camel. These Arabian camel are also unique. As you can see, they have only one hump on their back. So they are often considered as one humped camels. These also are adapted to the extreme temperatures of the Arabian desert and are also fruitful because they provide with milk, meat and wool. So these were some unique fauna of the Arabian desert. And that was about the West Asian countries. Finally, let's come to the last but not the least, the sixth major physical region of Asia. We are talking about the Central Asian countries. The Central Asian countries as we see today were not as it was earlier. Over many years it got disintegrated and they now stand as independent nations. So these countries include Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. Now Central Asia is the heart of exotic Silk Road which was an ancient network trade route used for trade of silk and spice between China and Europe. Now between China and the European continent these Silk Road acted as important trade routes specifically for silk garments and spices. So the Central Asian countries acted as important pathways for the flourishing trade that was conducted at those times. So before we proceed with the lesson, could you help me answer this question? Which Asian region is the heart of the Silk Road? Is it North Asia, Central Asia, South Asia or Southeast Asia? Well, the correct answer is Central Asia. Central Asia is the heart of the important Silk Road. So here were the six major regions of Asia. That includes North Asia, Eastern Asia, Southeastern Asia, South Asia, Western Asia and finally Central Asia. We looked at each of them and saw how unique they are. Now as per the United Nations, the continent of Asia has 48 countries and 3 independencies. Let's look at them. 
So here we have a list of all the 48 countries. You can pause the video and note down all the countries and see how they have unique flags. Here is another chart that completes all the 48 countries. And finally, these are the three independencies of Asia. So Asia can be told as a mini representative of the earth itself. With vast forest, unique cuisine, different climatic conditions, varied diversity in culture and heritage, and also the unique countries, Asia is definitely a place with no end to the list of beauties and attractions that it has to offer. In this lesson, we were able to understand the rest two physical regions of Asia. And here, we were able to conclude our discussion on the six major regions of the vast continent of Asia. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5,000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.